I just got back from a trip. Oh, it's like not staying. Um, it's like nine, well, it's gotta be like 10 o'clock at night. Okay, it's 9.48 and I'm wired because I'm all like anxious about driving tomorrow. I start my drive um, to Dallas and I just spoke to my manager in Dallas today and I can turn in all my parking stuff once I get there to get my parking stuff there. So it's gonna work out really nicely. So I don't have to worry about dropping it off in the airport here. I'm just gonna take it with me and do it once I get to Dallas. It's a 24 hour drive, but it's gonna take me longer because my van drives slower. So I always, and I take a lot of breaks, okay? Um, but I only have a certain amount of days, so I'm gonna set my alarm for like three or four in the morning and I'm just gonna get on the road to get out of New York City before that. My pilot that I flew with today is actually from Dallas. So he gave me pointers on um, what toll thing to get because I thought I could just use my easy pass. Someone had told me it would work. Um, so I was asking him about it and he said, no, it will not, but told me what to get. And if I order it online, even though I don't have it, um, the, the toll things will recognize my license plate and still be charging it to my account instead of like charging me fees or whatever for not having it. So, um, yeah. So anyways, <laughs> I don't know that anybody cares about any of this, but I'm just like, I always get excited to go on a road trip. I love doing the road trips. I don't love driving and I don't love driving like so many hours in a row. So I'm not super excited for that. <laughs> oh, well, I slept in. I meant to get up at like 3.30 and it's 5.17. I just could not wake up. <sighs> I could not wake up. Oh my gosh. So I'm probably going to get stuck in rush hour traffic. <laughs> But I'm gonna get up, put my stuff on the counter away, and just start driving. And then um, I'm at some point gonna stop for coffee and breakfast and stuff. But I just wanna get out of New York. I'm very excited to be leaving New York. Very, very excited. Um, I just can't wait to hit that open road. <laughs> It's so crazy that one day it was summer in the Northeast and now it's cold. I mean, I like the cold, don't get me wrong. It's just like, literally, I feel like last week it was 80 degrees and now it's cold. Um, I'm getting some pimples on my chin, mask me, if you will. But I just went to the Starbucks. You can kind of see it right there, maybe. It's too bright. Um, but 
I just followed Google Maps like to the closest Starbucks and it was in this like promenade mall. I'm in Pennsylvania, like near Bethlehem. And um anyways, and they didn't have a drive through, so I'm wearing slippers for driving. I need to get some boots, like um obviously I do not wear Uggs or support the Ugg brand, but Ugg type boots, like slip on boots that I can drive in and sort of double as kind of a slipper feel because I just need slip on shoes um, and something warm and comfortable. So that's what I need to get. But anyways, I got my coffee and I still did an iced coffee. I got a big one because I'm just going to drive as long as I possibly can today. It's only been a couple of hours, but wow, am I having a great drive. It is so beautiful with the fall colors. There's been no traffic. There was a little bit of traffic at one point, but like 10 minutes of traffic. Um, oh, I'm just like, I'm so happy. So I just stopped to refuel and check all my fluids and stuff. And just as I suspected, my oil was pretty low. Like it was below the ad, you know, like there's the operating oil line and then there's the ad whatever. It was pretty low. There was oil in there, but so I added two quarts, um, and honestly, I thought I was gonna need to go in and buy more, but then when I checked it after I added them, it was like over the operating, it was very strange. Normally, I add like three quarts, and that's still not full. So now I'm a little worried I added too much oil, but it was very strange, because it's normally not like that big of a difference, so hopefully it was just like a weird thing. Lunch break! So I went to Walmart um, because I needed to get I needed to get new nail files to file my braces down because as you can tell I'm not wearing them because I can actually speak. We got more micellular water. Um, eh. But so then I got stuff to make like sandwiches and that's pretty much it. Um, then I won't have to go through drive through till tonight maybe unless I just eat more sandwiches <laughs> but yeah I needed the nail files to file down my braces because they just butchered my mouth the last two days I have like cuts all on the inside no yeah I know it's been a long time it's just What's my Wow, I am tired. So I still have, let's see, 15 hours and 58 minutes, but add maybe like four, at least four hours to that. <laughs> this is how many hours I have left of driving. It's only 5.25 p.m., but I am just dead. I'm tired, I'm hungry. I did stop and get an Impossible Whopper from Burger King today. I'm not proud of it, but what I needed was water and I didn't want to stop driving and like stop it was a really bad excuse <laughs> to go through the drive through I'm gonna be honest I shouldn't even I was trying to convince myself it was the easier thing to do but really I just wanted food so I got like I said I need the biggest thing of water you have because I was just so dehydrated and I forgot to get water at the truck stop <laughs> 